so we, we have to work on these tie parts. Um, so, um, first of all, I'm gonna show you how to make a pattern, princess bodice pattern with draping technique. So, <clears throat> prepare like fabric like this. Um, first of like I measured from here to waistline and add five inches. And then I measure uh, center front to bodice point, apex, and also I add five inches. And then I uh, snip and tear fabric and make a uh, fabric motion look like this. So I uh, put the fabric in the bodice form. Can you explain what the reason is putting it to the tape at the bust instead oh, because, of the? Because you know, like <clears throat> our uh, women's body is three dimensional, so there are some like curve between bodies, uh, bodies, right? So usually when you make a clothing, like there is no, like we do not um, aware. What can I say? We do not care about the curve between two busts. So that's why uh, we put a muslin tape between two apex. If we were going down in between the breasts, we would then. Mm -hmm put like a pin there to right. accentuate that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So, is it clear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is quite like, easy. So, I put pin on the shoulder seam and also I put pin on the waist like this. I put pin all the way uh, through the princess line And then I <coughs> cut the neckline and the neckline like this and I removed all the wrinkles around the So you can see, you know, like there's no wrinkles in the front princess panel, right? And then um, we can start with mark <coughs> on the fabric like this. Apex, waistline. So do you use uh, the middle of the tape as your waistline? Middle of the tape? <coughs> yeah, or do you Yeah, this is middle. waistline. Do you know where's waist? Like waist is the most like the smallest what can I say? Yeah. But you but you use the yeah. middle of the tape, not the top or the bottom. Yeah, it's middle wide. of the tape. Actually the it's, it's okay. up to you. So if oh, you're okay. if you're using the top of the tape then you can use that you know, consistently. So okay. it's up to you, but try to be consistent. So do you have any questions about draping the hot princess panel? Mm -hmm. And then um, I uh, made this kind of fabric panel as well. So um, so the length is from the length of length from here to here is <coughs> the measurement from here to here, and also I added five inches. And then um, I marked grain line and cross grain line like. So I put fabric in the, uh, I will take off this first. Excuse me, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is going to be a stupid question, but how do you know how wide to make it? What are you measuring to, to know the width of the fabric? I oh, guess the oh yeah, that's a really good question. Actually, there's no specific measurement for these fibs. So maybe I can go with 10, around 10 inches. Okay. Yeah, but in the textbook, there's no specific measurement. Yeah. Okay. And put uh, this cross grain line, put 
this cross um, grain line in the um, this line. Just like uh, the front panel, you can <coughs> cut the fabric here and knit the bottom. And then you can see there is no um, Wink on the side panel, right? And then um, you can mark shoulder seam. And for the uh, arm hole, I usually go down an inch from the arm, arm plate because our arm, if you make a coating with this arm plate, it's, the arm hole is going to be really, really small. Usually go down an inch from the arm <coughs> Then um, you can take off the fabric. 